a Sufi does the political compass test. Right, left, authoritarian, libertarian. Let's try it out. And by the way, this is only one person's view, so it's... But it's going to be some fun. All right, let's go. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Uh, I disagree with that. Uh, I always support my country. No, I'm not going to support my country when they go to stupid wars like, with, like Russia or NATO or shit like that. No one chooses their country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Strongly agree. Uh, being proud of that as like nationalism and like racism and shit. Our race has many superior cross. No, 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 no. That's racism. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. I weakly agree with that, but not completely. Military actions that define international law is sometimes justified. Uh, I s weakly agree with that because this international law, what is that? Some kind of rules-based world order? So who is the one who defines the international law? Is it UN? Uh, oh, I, I weakly agree with that. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Uh, yes, I somewhat agree with that. Because that's like social media. Kids nowadays, they don't want to read books. They want everything to be fun. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. I strongly agree with that. I think that nationality is actually... a old concept that is going to somewhat be diminished over time class is more significant when you and that's the problem that i have as an educated black man uh, there are not many black people who are educated in, in in that sort of class so sometimes it's difficult to sort of uh, get to know people but class is definitely uh, of your own kind but but you you get along with other people who are educated so class is definitely a a, a better uh, sort of a grouper of people than nationality in my opinion controlling inflation is more important than con controlling unemployment disagree with that uh, unemployment should be primary and inflation should be secondary macroeconomically but these two kind of go together in in the Phillips curve in macroeconomics so both are important be be because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment. Well, apparently they don't, as uh, as we can see on the 40 degree temperature in like uh, in like Europe. They require regulation, yes. But I don't want to regulate companies too much, but they require somewhat of regulation. From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. This is a this is a Marxist idea, but I would say yes, I, I, I weakly agree with that. The free of the market, the free of the people. Yes, strongly agree. I, I am for free markets, but we don't have free markets. We have a, we have a weird system of big business capitalism that eats all the competition. Uh, it's a sad reflection of our society that something as basic as drinking water is bottled branded consumer product. I don't agree with that. I don't mind if business makes money out of, you know, uh, having 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 uh, drink, drinking water like this uh, mineral water as long as there is as long as there is other alternatives like tap water that is clean land shouldn't be a commodity to be brought, bought and sold i actually disagree with this uh, because uh, well it's going to be difficult to buy uh, land in africa and then I I I if you remove this ability then people uh, diaspora Africans can't work in the West and buy land at home. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to uh, society. I somewhat agree with that, or I strongly agree with that. That's kind of where, uh, yeah, agree or strongly agree, somewhat uh, with that. Protectionism is sometimes necessary. No, I am completely against Western protectionism because Western protectionism is what makes it difficult for African, Latin American and Asian firms to compete fairly on the world market because you have so much Western protectionism. The only social responsibility a company should be to deliver a profit to a shareholder strongly disagree. That shareholder model of corporations is dying. Uh, it, it, it's, it's dying all over the world. Uh, the, the, the society creates companies and a company should be viewed as having a broader responsibility just than making money for shareholders. Although shareholders should be one of the goals of the company. The rich are too highly taxed. I disagree with that. 
I don't think that taxation is gonna just solve the problems of the world, but I, I don't I don't agree that they are too highly taxed. Those with the ability to pay should have the access to higher standards of medical care. I don't agree with that. Government should penalize business that mislead the public. Definitely they should. I strongly or or I agree with that. I can say the genuinely free restrict market restrictions. A genuinely free market requires restrictions on the ability of predatory multinational to create monopolies. Strongly agree with that. That's even in competition law. Abortion when a woman's life is not threatened should always be illegal. Um, I somewhat disagree with that. All authority should be questioned. Strongly agree with that. That's why I question NATO and not many other people question NATO because I think NATO is just an unnecessary organization that keeps Western imperialism. NATO might have been necessary during the Cold War to prevent Sovietic expansion to the East as NATO's purpose was. But now what is NATO doing is just expanding and being a tyrannical. No thanks. I, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth from the Bible and in the Quran. I strongly agree. Taxpayers should not expect to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. I disagree with that. I, I actually strongly disagree with that. We need museums and uh, the government just has to make sure that we have museums. Otherwise, ancient art and stuff might go away. There are more important things than just making a buck. Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. Um, I somewhat agree with that. I actually strongly agree with that. In in high school, I, I didn't go to class every day. I, I was really stressed out and didn't like school. And I would not like someone to force me to go. I got decent grades anyway. But I think it should be more of the choice. Uh, and something that maybe is handled on a family level. All people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sort of people should keep to their own kind. No, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with forcing people to be blend, but I, I, I think the world is a better place when people uh, 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 talk to each other. Good parents sometimes have to spank their ki ch children. I disagree with that. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. I agree with that. Possession of marijuana should definitely not be a criminal offense. I am in Amsterdam. That's all I have to say about that subject matter. And there is a jar over there. Uh, and uh, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> the prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. I disagree with that. Uh, there, There is more. I strongly disagree with that. There is more to schooling than just to teach people to be good citizens. It's about learning about yourself, learning about what you're interested in and finding your gift that God has given you. People with serious in a disability should not be allowed to reproduce. Ooh. And who's going to decide that? Some kind of totalitarian government who wants to tell people how to live? No thanks. The most important thing for children is to learn to accept discipline. No, I strongly disagree with that. The most important thing is to learn to find themselves and find their path and uh, find their path to happiness in this life. There are no savages and civilized people. Definitely not. There are only different cultures. Definitely. Saying disagree on that is like racism. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society support. I somewhat agree but i don't, don't strongly agree because uh but 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 if i if i if i if i disagree with that that leads to uh, uh um this kind of how do you say a system where people are depending on the government like we have in sweden that's also not good when you're troubled it's better not to think about it but to keep busy with more cheerful things meaning lying to yourself no strongly disagree when you're troubled meditate on your troubles First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated with their new country. Absolute fucking horseshit. What do the most successful companies is always ultimately good for? What's good for the corporation is ultimately good for all of us. No, it's not. <laughs> no broadcasting institution should receive public funding. I disagree with that. We have uh, public uh, broadcasting institutions in Sweden. It works well. Our civic liberties are being excessively curbed in the nature of counterterrorism. Strongly agree with that. 
It's monitoring Big Brother is watching you. A significant advantage of a one-party state is, is uh, avoids all the arguments that delays process in the democratic political system. Well, I agree with that, but I strongly disagree because I don't want a one-party dictator or totalitarian Nazi state. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly disagree. We all need to be worried. Because this surveillance of Big Brother is watching you is everywhere. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. I weakly agree with that, like serial killers and shit. In a civic society, one must always have people to be obeyed. No, you absolutely don't. And people to be commanded, like a master-slave society. No thanks. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Strongly disagree. Art is art. and art is beautiful. And art needs to be free. In, in criminal adjustment, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. No, I don't agree with that at all. Rehabilitation is actually the way you cure c criminals, not by just increasing punishment. I mean, yeah, there is a logic for having high punishment, but you should try to cure people. People can fuck up and change themselves, and that's what you want. It is a waste of time to try to rehabilitate some criminals. I agree with that. Some people can't be changed. But that doesn't mean that your criminal system should be based on just punishment and not rehabilitation. Mothers may have careers, but their first duty is to be homemakers. I disagree weakly with that. In classical Islam, mothers are homemakers, but I think that that should be the choice of the woman and not the state. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries, definitely are, and they have been doing that for 400 years. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Well, I'm mature and I, don't, uh, I have not made peace with the establishment. So I strongly disagree. Uh, oh, I forgot one person. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. No, they are not. I disagree with that. Uh, astrology accurately explains many th things. I agree with that. You cannot be moral without being religious. I disagree, although there is a logic for religion. Charity is better than social security. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That's stupid. Some people are naturally unlucky. Yeah, absolutely the case. So there are victims. And this goes against this very far-right capitalist, extreme capitalist thinking that Americans have a very difficult time understanding when they talk about victim mentality and so on. Yeah, it's negative with victim mentality, but some people are handicapped, some people are slow, some people are dyslectic, some people are naturally not good at school, some people are good at math. So yes, some people can be unlucky, and I have been unlucky in certain aspects of my life. It's important that my child's school steals uh, religious values. No, I believe in secularization, although there is a logic for it. Sex outside marriage is usually immoral. I would have to agree with that. The Sharia is clear on the subject matter. A same sub couple in a loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. No, I don't agree with that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal. Yeah, I agree. I don't think that the state should um, regulate stuff like that. What goes on in a private bedroom is not the business of the state. I strongly agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. Oh, God. Uh, I want to pass on this one, but I would have to say I agree somewhat on that. Um, I would say neutral. Uh, I think that homosexuality and all of these things is uh, a product of the time, although we know historically that there, these uh, practices have existed since the ancient time. But I would refer to Sharia on the subject matter. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. I strongly agree on that. Now let's see where I stand. I have done this test a couple of times. I get somewhat varying results. Let's see. Oh, okay. Author uh, libertarian left. Not a big surprise. So quite libertarian, left-wing. So this is the libertarian left spectrum, somewhat anarchist spectrum. I can say that sometimes when I do this test, it varies somewhat in this region. So if we can, uh, uh, if we can uh, make a quick PowerPoint of this, somewhat this area is somewhere where I end up. So I, 
I always end up in the libertarian uh, axis. Some issues may be more right, some issues more left, but it depends. So this is definitely some kind of left libertarian, anarchist, light level of anarchist um, spectrum. Uh, I'm about freedom, personal freedom, but I see the injustice and the pain that a pure capitalist system uh, produces. I believe in markets and the balancing mechanism of the universe that people end up where they are supposed to over time. And if you do evil, the universe will sort of punish you. That's kind of the hidden hand of the market. I believe in free trade and all of these things, but I do see that capitalism has created a very strange system with banks and interest rates and loans that suck the resources and actually stand against free trade. So I would say that a purely modern capitalistic system is actually against free trade. So, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I, I, I would say that I'm some kind of classical liberal-ish, moderate-ish, center, maybe center-left in some issues, anarchist, libertarian with a heart and with some moral aspect to it hopefully this video was interesting uh, this reflects one person's view please uh, write in the comment section where you end up in this uh, spectrum have a beautiful day